Believe it or not, the end of summer is here and the Sheriff's Office members were busy the last few months attending a wide variety of community events. Here are some of the highlights. At the annual Troutdale Summerfest celebration, our law enforcement division led the parade with one of our River Patrol boats. Members were met with many smiles as they walked down the historic Columbia River Highway and handed out stickers to the kids. We're honored to be part of such a great community. MCSO was also well represented at Fairview's National Night Out. This event connects community members and public safety staff for a night of food and fun. MCSO's Honor Guard was there to kick off festivities and the Sheriff's Office booth was a big hit. In support of the 17th year of Shop with a Cop, MCSO teamed up with Portland Police to spend a morning with kids from the local community shopping for back to school clothing. This event provides basic clothing and school supplies while helping build relationships between children and law enforcement. MCSO helped keep veterans safe during the Wounded Warrior Project Soldier Ride on Sovies Island. Several law enforcement deputies provided escort and traffic safety support while the cyclists circled the island. This organization is important in helping to heal and restore our wounded warriors, and we're proud to be a part of this event. At this year's Community Academy, MCSO welcomed local community leaders as they experienced the challenges of working in public safety. Participants were partnered with a deputy sheriff as they engaged in a wide range of law enforcement training, including real life scenarios. They also toured Inverness Jail to learn about our corrections operations and some of the innovative programs we have for adults in custody. All of these events required a tremendous amount of time and effort from our staff to plan and execute. I want to personally thank all of the involved members for their hard work and dedication. Being actively engaged with the people we serve is an important part of building and maintaining community trust. There are many events planned over the next several months, so I encourage you to find out what's taking place and how you can be a part of it by contacting MCSO's Public Information Officer, Sergeant Brandon White. Over the last two months, we welcomed several new hires to the Corrections and Business Services Divisions and promoted one of our employees to a leadership role. There's no greater reward than helping others and giving back to your community. As a public safety professional, you can find something positive in each day and soon realize you can make a real difference in people's lives. Please welcome our new hires as they begin what I hope to be long and rewarding careers in public safety service. Senate Bill 1145 provides funding for jurisdictions like Multnomah County to house and supervise offenders locally. The 2019 legislature reduced Multnomah County's 1145 funding by $5.4 million, which amounted to a $1.2 million reduction from this year's MCSO budget. A reduction of this magnitude would mean the loss of more than seven corrections deputies positions, likely resulting in the closure of a jail dorm and numerous emergency releases. Fortunately, the Board of County Commissioners voted to provide emergency funding to cover this reduction through March of 2020. It's my hope and the hope of sheriffs across the state that the legislature will vote to restore funding on a more permanent basis during the next session. While we have averted a crisis in the short term, this is yet another reminder of the fiscal constraints facing MCSO and our system partners. This month, we've seen many retirements from the Sheriff's Office. I want to thank all of the retirees for their dedication and service to MCSO and the citizens of Multnomah County. To finish your career as a public safety professional is a great accomplishment and something to be proud of. Your hard work and sacrifice has made MCSO an outstanding agency to work for. I wish you the very best that retirement will bring. One of the advantages of living and working in a large urban area is that it allows us to have a broader public safety impact on the community we serve. One way that we are doing this is our involvement in the Transit Police Division. MCSO has assigned one lieutenant, two sergeants, and four deputies as active members of the Transit Police Division, working to keep riders safe. We're looking at expanding this role, using our unique style of policing to make sure all passengers feel safe in using Multnomah County's great transit system. One of our transit deputies has fully embraced our role in the new system. Deputy Aaron Sikowski is making a difference in people's lives, one max stop at a time.
Uh, Deputy Aaron Sikowski, Deputy, Multnomah County Sheriff's Office, been so employed since uh, July 2011, so over eight years. How was your day? Not bad. Excellent. Not bad. Wrapping it up. This is like perfect fall weather, I'd say. Uh, this is it. Transit was pretty appealing to me at the onset. I really wanted to work there because I felt like it was a faster pace than what I was seeing on patrol. You have a lot of uh, person context. It's the, it's the mass transit system, so it's just mass amount of people. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like the beer opposite of this. Yeah, right on the other side of the courthouse. Good luck, guys. Thank you guys. Have a yeah, thank you. There should be always a police presence on the transit system. We're talking with a very complex structure with a lot of people, and any times you get large amounts of people intermingling, you're bound to have some hiccups, and uh, I think that you want an enforcement agent that knows the system intricately and can solve problems on that level and has a good, uh, thorough understanding of it and can provide the best service to those people that are using it. I want to thank all members involved in the transition and expansion of the Sheriff's Office role in the Transit Police Division. I'm pleased that we can extend our exemplary public safety service to more community members. Over the next several months, MCSO members will be transitioning from one firearm platform to another. We'll be issuing the new Gen 5 Glock 9mm. Much consideration by the training unit staff went into the decision to switch from the 40 caliber round to the 9mm. MCSO had a team of subject matter experts evaluate the two systems and their recommendation makes good sense from a tactical and officer safety perspective. For more on the advantages of the Glock 9mm, here's firearms instructor Sergeant Brandon White. There's a lot of reasons to switch the new Gen 5 Glock 9mm and we're just going to talk about a few of them today. First off is the less felt recoil of the new Gen 5s. This allows uh, for quicker follow-up shots and overall it's easier on the shooter. Next is the modified trigger. The modified trigger is softer and helps with the shooter's overall accuracy. And lastly, the Gen 5 Glocks are more customizable to the shooter. First, they have a smaller frame to fit people with small hands. They have more available back straps to fit people with larger hands. And they're truly ambidextrous, so we can switch out the slide lock and the mag release to fit both right and left-handed shooters. After a very extensive testing process, I'm very excited about the Sheriff's decision to bring this new Gen 5 Glock to our members. The transition will begin with the Law Enforcement Division at the next scheduled firearms training. There's a lot to be proud of here at MCSO. Each and every one of us plays a critical role in keeping our community safe and making Multnomah County a great place to live. The work as a public safety professional is challenging, perhaps more so now than at any time in our agency's history. In the coming months, I want to take time to do thoughtful planning on how we can address those challenges and what we hope to accomplish over the next several years. Establishing a strategic plan for MCSO means not only affirming our mission, vision, and values, but also setting ambitious goals and thinking creatively about how we can achieve those goals. In September and early October, I'll be at briefings and roll calls to talk a bit about the MCSO strategic planning process. Staff from Strategic Services will be on hand to hear from you directly about your priorities for MCSO over the next three years. In addition to these meetings, there'll be other opportunities for you to share your ideas. Thank you for your service and your dedication to helping MCSO be the very best Sheriff's Office. Stay safe out there.